Hey Jackals, today I'll show you how to easily and quickly remove green screen in DaVinci Resolve with the best possible results. Now let's get digital. So the first thing that you need is a clip on the timeline, I'll be using this one. Then what you need to do is open the effects, type in key, you'll have to go to the open effects and use the 3D key here, simply click and drag it onto the clip, then open the inspector tab and go to the effects. Now you can do anything at the moment and that's because you have to enable effects. By default the transform will be selected like this so simply click the drop down menu, click on the open effects, now it's enabled because it's white and gray it's disabled. So make sure that it's white, have this icon selected and simply draw over the green screen until all of it is gone. We're left with this, now I'll simply add a solid background so that we can see the difference and instead of the black or the green I'll maybe use pinkish. So if I zoom in you can see that we have some green around the subject. So to fix that we'll simply adjust the dispel option. When you adjust the dispel you should be able to see the difference. So I do see a difference and maybe I'll just make this color a little bit darker and blue. And the last thing that we'll maybe want to do is under the matte finesse by cleaning blacks and whites. Let's first see what the white does. So with the white we're adding it. So in this case we won't be using it. But we may need to adjust the clean black by just a tiny bit. So it blends in a little bit nicer and we don't have any more edges. So maybe something like that. Just a tiny bit. So that's one way how you can do it quickly. Now let's say that you have something on the left and on the right. I'll just put this on the timeline again. So what you can do in that case is use the cropping function and simply crop from the left and right and you'll still have the subject inside. And then you would simply apply the same effect that we've done on this clip. Why I've shown you on a new clip is because if I use the cropping function here nothing will change. The only thing that will change is that the subject is gone. Now that's all good but if you want to have a custom mask in this case cropping only works in horizontal or vertical ways but it doesn't make a custom shape. So one way how you can go about doing that is maybe in this example in the 3D keyer effect you also have the garbage mad option by default it's set to none but you can use rectangle or an ellipse. Maybe you want to use rectangle so you can simply adjust it. And maybe put it like that. Increase it in size. So maybe you want the mask to be like that in this shape. What you would then want to do is simply select this icon and color everything away. And then simply invert the selection if it's not inverted. Now in this case as you can see we have some issue at the top. But what I just wanted to show you before I fix that is that then you can apply the cropping. So go to the video, apply crop from left to right. So maybe something like that and then from the right. And if we would play the video it would basically cut out this kind of a shape. So we're basically applying the crop and the mask. One way how you can apply the mask with the cropping without having any issues with the green screen is to first disable the mask. I've deleted all of the strokes and I'll make a new selection. If you store it from the black as you can see we'll have issues. So delete that and only use the stroke on the green screen. So do it like that. And now we can apply the mask. Rectangle and we'll have the same kind of movement but without any issues that we had previously at the top. Now that's one way how you can apply a custom mask but if you want to have a fully customizable mask you'll have to go in the color page. So I'll show you that, make a new clip and I'll go into the color page. Now inside here you also have the effects as you can see. We'll also use the 3D here so you can simply click and drag it onto the clip. You have the same options as in the edit page so simply go over the green screen, remove everything that you don't want. Just like that, now we don't see any difference. I can now simply close this, I'll right click, add an alpha output and connect the blue square to the blue dot. 
and now we can see what's behind it. If we had something on the timeline in the edit page, like this background, then we would also see the blue background. So now we see that. Well, what if I had a different kind of shape that I want to apply to this mask? I can simply do that by going to this option, the power window, select the pen tool, and I'll simply make a custom shape. Now I've made the cutout as you can see here. Now whenever the subject goes over this line, this is a sharp line, so what we'll have to do in the power tool, we'll simply adjust the softness. The softness goes from both sides, so outside and inside, but you can also adjust individual ones, either outside or inside. Then you'll want to go to the effects to get rid of all of the green spill color and use the spill function. We'll fix that and maybe you want to clean the blacks just a little bit. Maybe something like that and you have the green screen done with a custom mask. I've used the same technique in this video to remove the green screen that's behind me. Now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.